for the Corinthians, first Corinthians, the second chapter, and we'll begin reading in the back verse. First Corinthians, second chapter, and first say But as it is written, I have not seen, nor yet heard, neither have entered into the hearts of men the things which God has prepared for them that learn. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit search all things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the deep things. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. The revealed thing, which thing are uh, also we speak, not in the word, which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, right. comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Glory to the word of the Lord. Many of us are going through stuff that we just don't understand. We're dealing with issues that we don't know why we have to deal with. We're having problems and we don't know why we have to have those problems. It seems like we're on a track that just goes up and down and around the same mountain over and over again. Every time and every place I go, I just run into the same old mess. I don't seem to get any relief. I don't seem to get any feeling of deliverance or compassion. I get free for a moment and I feel like I'm about to take off and go high. But then I just run into the same old situation. And it pulls me down and it drags me down and it depresses me and it makes me feel bad. But at times, I have to recognize that it's not the circumstance, it's not the situation, it's not the issue, it's not the problem, it's how I've been handled. It's how I've been dealing with the circumstance. It's how I've been dealing with the issue. I've gotten into the same old repetitive pattern that is uh, identified by one of the uh, descriptions of insanity is, is doing the same old thing, expecting different results. And I just have the same problems over and over again because I've been trying to handle everything naturally. <laughs> I've been trying to handle everything through my own strength. I've been trying to handle everything through my own wisdom and my own knowledge. And even worse, I've been trying to handle stuff through other people's knowledge. I've been trying to do what other folk have been telling me, and I haven't even paid a bit of attention to how messed up they are. I haven't even been looking at the fact that how are you going to lead me out of this when you're in the Blind putting their faith and their trust in the blind. And everybody is just stuck in the same old mess. We're caught in crab or crawfish syndrome. Every time somebody crawls up, you don't have to put a lid on the basket because you can trust in the others just to pull that one. All right? Before he even gets free out of the basket, somebody's going to reach up and snatch him and pull him down. And they're crawling and snacked all over each other because none of us are going to go in prayer. 
and I'm not going to go in the garden about our issues, and I'm not going to go in the garden and ask the truth. Oh, yes, we pray, but we fail to act upon that which God has given us. We fail to act upon that which God has revealed to us. But God tells us to do things that are against our nature, that are against our feelings, that are against our design and our desire, we think. We do what we feel like doing. We do what is comfortable. We do what feels natural. We do what feels like it's going to deliver us and everybody is going to be happy about it. But when it comes down to it, there are things that I've got to shake off. There are things that I've got to break away from. There are things that I've got to turn loose of. And God is asking me to put in my faith and my trust in Him and believe in Him because he is going to speak to me about the thoughts that he has for my life. Yes, yes. He pronounces things to me. Paul is picking up something from Isaiah, the 64th chapter, where God pronounces his coming and where God pronounces the freedom of the saints and the deliverance and the outpouring of his Holy Spirit and that he would speak to men and women and that he would direct them and lead them and guide them and that they don't have to fall into the same old trap because he would lead them out by his Spirit. But we have a problem here because God doesn't give us proof of anything that he's saying of how it will work. He just says, because I'm God and because I know all things and because I have orchestrated everything and I have mandated everything and I have set everything in order according to my design, to my purpose, and my will, if you do what I'm putting in your heart, if you follow what I am designing in your spirit, if I leave, if you allow me to lead you by the Holy Ghost, you will walk into the greatness yeah. that I have called and you will walk into yeah. you got to trust me because I'm dealing with stuff that you don't have any knowledge of. Yeah. I'm going to speak to you and I'm going to direct you and I'm going to heal you and I'm going to minister to you and I'm going to pour out my word upon you and I'm going to break strongholds and principalities in the of your life, but you've got to trust that I am going to deal with the unseen. He begins to speak to them about the eyes. He begins to speak to them about the ears. And he begins to speak to them about the heart. You've got to start believing that I know how to lead you into stuff that you ain't never seen. I've got to begin to move to you in your inward parts to begin to show you things that folk are going to say that's just your imagination. Though that is the movie reel and the highlight reel of God revealing unto you what it shall be for your life if you follow my word and do my will. If you buckle down and cast off yeah. all of those things that have been oppressing you and holding you back. And we go through the tough time of being alone for a minute. We can't be alone for a minute. If you go through the tough time of having folks turn their back on you for a while, you'll come out and go because I've been happy. Because there are things that I want to separate you from. There are things that I want to divide from you. There are things that I want to get off of your life. But you have to be willing to get alone with me and hear my voice and then begin to spend time with me and let me show you what you should be, what you shall be, 